Sai. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. explain about yourself, Sai. First of all, good morning. I am very privileged to introduce myself. My name is Navin 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 Kirsai. I am from Amadish. I pursued my graduate at the Department of Computer Science and Engineering at Singapore Institute of Engineering College, Amalapuram. And I completed my diploma at the BBC Institute of Engineering and Technology. So, tell me about garbage collection in Java. Garbage collection uh, to deallocate the space for object. Okay. When the object is uh, when the reference object is not used in at any program, hmm. we can call the garbage collector. Garbage collector can uh, eliminate the memory for allocating the object. Very good. What is object? Object means is object is a real time entity. Mm -hmm. Object is a real time entity. So what are the principles of OOPs which you like? There are four principles in OOPs: mm -hmm. encapsulation, encapsulation, abstraction, inheritance, and polymorphism. Mm -hmm. Now what coming is? to the enca encapsulation. Oh. Okay. Encapsulation means binding data or wrapping the data mm. for the same functionalities into a single unit. Okay. Encapsulation plus encapsulation plus uh, abstraction, we are achieving the security. Mm. The encapsulation interfaces are the concepts. Okay. What functional is functional interface? interface? Yes, sir. Functional interface contains only one abstract method, uh, is okay. called functional interface. Can I have any number of default and static methods inside functional interface? Yes, sir. Only okay. one abstract method contains any number of default and static methods. Static methods are contained. Okay. What is the difference between protected and public? Yes, sir. Public is uh, no scope. Mm. No scope? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. when, we, when we initialize the public, uh, we can use uh, anywhere in the project. Okay. When we use protected, uh, we can use within the package and the subclasses of, okay. of the class. Okay. So, <coughs> what is the method like car at? Is a method, right? Yes. So, what is the use of car at method and what is the written type of it? Car at written type is car. Okay. Caret returning uh, by index uh, mm -hmm. written the character. Okay. So, Double equal to operator, uh, D equals method. What is the difference between these two? Yes, sir. Double equal to, mm -hmm. we check the integer values, uh, mm -hmm. same or not, like integer, double, mm -hmm. anything. Okay. That means by positive data types? Yes. Okay. Object data types we are using to equals uh -huh. to check the same data. Okay. In case of ignore case, we are ignoring the case sensitive also. Okay. So then tell me about something like. Uh, uh, different types of class loaders in JVM. Yes, sir. There are mainly three class, three class sub class loader subclasses. Mm -hmm. There are loaders, linkers, and initialization. Mm -hmm. In loaders, bootstrap loading, application loading, mm -hmm. application, extension, extension loading, loading okay. and linking. So we are linking load, linking, and resolve initialization. Then initialization, initializing the object. Okay. Okay. Then what is the difference between method area and heap area? Method area are loading at the Time of class initialization, heap area loading at the time of object. Tell me about constructors. Yes, sir. Con constructor are using to initializing the initializing the objects. Without constructor, we are not initializing the objects. What are the types of constructors? Constructors are mainly three types: default constructor, nor constructor, parameterized constructor, copy constructor, and chain constructor. Okay, what is copy constructor? Copy constructor means uh, passing the to the another constructor. Okay. What is constructor chaining? How you can achieve constructor chaining? Yes, sir. Constructor chaining means one constructor in another constructor we are achieving by using this of and so prof method. Okay. What is the use of this keyword and super keyword versus this of and so prof? This keyword is uh, used for initializing the current object, current okay. object data and the super keyword is using initializing the super class current object. Initializing or invoking? Invoking. invoking okay. The so my question is, what is compilation and what is execution? Who is going to do execution and who is going to do a compilation is my question. In compilation, Java compiler will compile the code, hmm. then it converts the code into the byte code. Exactly. Yes. Then, then JVM will execute the code hmm. and giving the output. Okay. Good.